Hello again, welcome to today's attempt of a Steckdall Puzzle, where today is World Meteorological Day. Easy for me to say, meteorological. Uh, so I'm going to be using words connected with meteorology or weather. Um, I know they're not strictly the same thing, but I'm going to take some liberties, of course, just to get myself some words. So we'll start with drop, as in the whole point is you need to be very careful for every drop of water. That's one of the things that they're trying to raise awareness of. And we've got the P, that was unexpected. It could be hump or lump, lots of options, but we'll try a heap because it uses more common letters. I mean, A has worked, so maybe I should clap. Am I going to get three greens and it's actually slap? Oh, I'm actually still only going to get two greens, that's a shame. But I hope I don't snap. Oh wow, I've got three greens now. Swap. It wasn't an app, it was an op. Right, let's move on to water. Of course, a really important thing uh, for the Meteorological Society to raise awareness of. Uh, AT, interesting. Batch, I suppose I should probably try match or patch, but I've typed this in now. <laughs> I've got very lucky, okay. Um, the world is getting hotter, isn't it, with climate change? That's one of the things they're trying to raise awareness of as well. Raise awareness of. But hotter has not worked much. We've just got an E and it's not even in the right place. Let's move it to the end. Wow. It's in the right place, but absolutely nothing else is. Uh, let's try unique. I don't like using a duplicated U, I don't like using a Q, but it could be correct. I couldn't think of anything else it could be, so I'm very happy and relieved. Uh, and we will finish off, of course, with climate, which I keep mentioning. Another thing for there, trying to raise, a, raise awareness. Why is that so hard to say? Anyway, climate has been very helpful, hasn't it? In every sense of the word. And um, we've got four letters. So what is this word going to be? We can't use the I or the E. So do we want to use the O and the U? I'm not sure. Coatful, is that a word? Could be an F-U-L ending. I want to try coatful, it's not going to be correct, is it? Is there anything else that is an F-U-L ending that uses the C, A and T? Cartful is probably more likely to be a word, and it's not, okay. But I bet coatful isn't either, there we go. I knew that wouldn't be a word, that's why I kept thinking and came up with cartful. I thought that might be accepted, but apparently not. So it's back to the drawing board, which is a bit of a calamity, but calamity is too long, and we can't use the M or the I anyway. <sighs> What are we going to do with this L? Chart something. Chartly. Oh, maybe it's an LY ending. That's an interesting thought. Craftily is obviously not correct, but I want it to be. <laughs> I want it to be a guess anyway, but it's too long. Um. Oh no, it can't be capital because we can't use the I. I'm going to try capital. I know it can't be correct, but I just need to keep moving and it will tell me where the A is. And where the T and the L are. That's convenient. But it's not a duplicated A. Okay, so it has to be a U or an O, surely. Or both, I suppose. Interesting. Oh, coastal. That would have been a much better guess last time. But now we know we don't have a second A. So what is this word? Um, what is this word? I do not know. I might just have to go for coastal just to find out if there's an O or an S. There's an S, but there isn't an O. So does that mean it's not a U either, it's a Y? Should have got that a little bit quicker, but 
two, three, four, five, not necessarily in that order, is always a nice pattern. So that's uh, the Stepple Puzzle for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and now go out and save the planet uh, on World Meteorological Day. Bye for now.